Monroe, Tampa Bay. Welcome. We are talking today with a couple of guys who are going to be part of what's going on this fall when the RNC comes to Tampa. We're going to be live streaming as part of Front Row Tampa Bay, the best Tampa Bay has to offer for all the world to see. And welcome, gentlemen. Let me introduce Daniel Scott with USF St. Pete. He's with an entrepreneurship program. That's Daniel there on the left and on my right here. Brent Britton, he is a technology attorney with Gray Robinson. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thanks. You two co-founded, along with others, Gazelle Lab. What is that? Uh, we founded Gazelle Lab to be uh, a startup accelerator uh, for uh, startup companies here in Tampa Bay and a seed stage fund so that companies, entrepreneurs that were interested in starting a company could receive a little bit of seed stage funding and get on the way towards growth. And there's a lot of that going on? There is. There's a ton of it. We have folks that come out of universities, that come out of come out of other companies, folks that come through other programming here locally, and what we're starting to find is a huge pipeline here in the Tampa Bay area just beginning to be unlocked with programs like Gazelle Lab. So this is really just the genesis of a big uh, movement that could be happening here in this area. Uh, we think so, yeah. In fact, uh, we've been very surprised ourselves to find how uh, thickly populated the Tampa Bay region is with entrepreneurs and people who have both the will and the means uh, to become entrepreneurs. And there's lots of energy around the universities as well. So Brent, what kind of uh, companies are we talking about? What kind of sort of these innovative ideas? Give me an example. Well, there's a lot of software nowadays. It's pretty easy relatively to start a company in software, um, but we have all kinds of uh, wonderful science and technology companies here in Tampa Bay, including uh, imaging and medical diagnostics and uh, uh, medical technology of all kinds. And so how does academia fit into this? We hope that we're a productive pipeline for folks that are well-educated and want to stay here in the Tampa Bay area. So when we really start looking at the STEM uh, education, which is science, math, engineering, and technology, and we add entrepreneurship to the plate, hopefully we have students that are walking out of the schools well-equipped to become entrepreneurs and create massive value here for the Tampa Bay area. How are you going to use Front Row Tampa Bay to get the message out? That's a really interesting question. I think if anyone uh, from outside of Florida or outside of the Tampa Bay region is watching uh, the RNC and what they're going to find out about Tampa, one of the surprising things they may find out is that we've got a lot of great business activity going on here and it's going on at all levels. We have established companies and we have brand new startup companies that are eager to get onto the world stage. What do you think people are going to discover when they watch? Because this is, this is the platform for everybody to see what's going on in this area. That's Absolutely. exciting. I hope that they see, wow, that's coming out of Tampa Bay. <laughs> I may not be able to point it out on a map yet, but I can certainly say I use that product. I, I've seen that technology. I've read about that thing on the national level, and hopefully they'll start to come down here and visit a little bit more and understand what we're doing and hopefully come down and invest. What makes this a good area for uh, businesses and, and startups to flourish? Well, you know, it, with the modern age of the internet, you don't necessarily need to be anywhere anymore. So folks can choose to be where they enjoy spending time. But well, we want to be here. Absolutely, we do. <laughs> but folks can start companies here or come here to live, come here for the beaches and the lifestyle and the weather, uh, and be just as productive at running their company or working for another company as if they were in a major uh, commercial center like, like New York City or, or San Francisco. And finally, what do you see as being the, the best opportunity that this provides, this uh, platform, Front Row Tampa Bay, this live streaming technology? What do you see as being the best part of that? This is a showcase. Hopefully we can showcase everything that's happening in the region. But for us, obviously, showing off our entrepreneurs and our talent that we have here is a huge issue for us. And we can't wait for it to happen. Brent and Daniel, thanks for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure.